Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? I don't remember much about the world before the sickness. I was just a kid when it started, too young to fully grasp all the changes happening across the globe. Looking back, it was as though some cosmic clearance bin of trashy dystopian paperbacks was spilling plot points out onto reality. You had your unknown virus, your slow-to-act world leaders, your extremists, deniers on one end, doomsday preppers on the other, and overall just a heck of a lot of scandal and angst. What it boiled down to was this. Stay away from each other. Yep, that simple. Stay away. Because the sickness mutated so rapidly, spread so easily, and killed so many, that preventing transmission was the only way to stop it from wiping out the human race. A cure could be developed, they told us. Would be developed, they promised. Somehow. Someday. Life changed. Everything from school and work to medical appointments and family dinners became virtual. And as it turns out, hosting an online society requires a lot of computer programming. Like, a lot, a lot. Lucky for me, I'd always had a knack for stuff like that. It was easy to get trained and even easier to find work. When's the last time you heard a young person say that, huh? I did programming for medical services, government websites, automated manufacturing. There was no shortage of freelance contracts. Of course, places like movie theaters, shopping malls, and restaurants died out. Even farms and factories became rare. So much of the workforce lost. But to be honest, I personally thought all of it was a net gain for the planet. Fewer people meant less pollution. War and terrorism dropped to an all-time low. Most people learned to be at least somewhat self-sufficient. As for me? Well, since my parents both died not long after my high school graduation, I was probably more self-sufficient than most. I was alone for a long time. Long enough to be used to it. At least I was healthy. I had my routine with lots of work to keep me busy and the internet at my fingertips to keep me from getting bored. What more could I have wanted? A load of bullshit. Literally. <laughs> Good one. Ow, ow, ow. Why is that even there? 
I never sweep. I don't have to go out there and check, do I? I mean, someone could be in trouble. But then again, someone could be trouble. Maybe just stand on the porch and yell for whoever it is to get off the lawn? I was raised by humanitarian hippies, and all I got was this pesky conscience. Kidding. Love you, Mom and Dad. Please don't haunt me. Yo, anybody out here? No? Cool. Have a good night then. Hello? I'm here. Would you mind, um, helping me out of this, please? It sure is cold out. I'm definitely not shaking out of fear because that would be super lame. You there! What are you doing on my property? Please, I got lost and I promise I wasn't trying to steal anything. Well, then explain yourself! Why are you just laying on the ground there? Seems pretty sus. Can't get up. Oh my god! Are you okay?
Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you found me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in that thing all night. Sorry, is it okay that I'm touching you like this? Um, it's fine. Let's just get out of this rain. Where did I put that kit? Before anything else, let me scan your temperature. No fever, that's a relief. Do you have any other symptoms? Are you a doctor? Do you honestly think I look like a doctor? sure what a doctor looks like, but you seem to know what you're doing, and you're a very kind person, so I believe you if you told me you were a doctor. It's just basic first aid. Not a big deal. Here, hold this. Put pressure on it while I wrap it up. That should be okay overnight, but we should probably clean it again and rewrap it tomorrow. And you're going to let me stay here? Huh? You said clean it again tomorrow, right?
Well, it's not like I'm going to just send you back out into the rain. Not by yourself, anyway. Is there anyone else in your bubble? Anyone I can call to come get you, or... No. Okay, well, you can sleep on my couch tonight. We'll figure the rest out tomorrow. We should really stay at least six feet apart, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Damn, I liked these pants. Oh no, did you get hurt too? No, it's just a rip. Oh, that's not so bad. Wow, it already feels so much better. You must have a magical healing touch. You need to take that dress off. Um, that came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is, it's wet and cold, and I'm sure you'd feel better if you changed into something dry and warm. I'm sure I have some extra clothes you can wear. Really? Here, take whatever you want. They're all clean. So, so nice of you. I'll get changed now. <sighs> I haven't felt this comfy since I don't know when. It's a school shirt, right? I always liked the look of school uniforms, but I never got to wear one. All my classes were online. How old are you? 21. My birthday was actually last week. Oh, well, happy belated birthday. Do you have a name? Oh, of course I do. It's Mallory. Nice to meet you, Mallory. Well, not nice, exactly. Weird to meet you, I guess. Uh, I'm not used to people. Uh, yeah, I get it. I didn't mean to trespass onto your property. I really did get lost. And then the rain started, and I could hear these dogs or something howling. I was scared, and I ran towards the first light I saw. But what were you doing out there in the first place? I would rather not talk about that. Don't worry about it. You're here now, so just take the opportunity to get some rest. This is perfect. Thank you so, so much for everything. Truly, I'm lucky to have met you. Yeah, just try not to touch anything, okay? Okay, I'm going to bed. Bye. I hope you have sweet dreams. I'll see you in the morning.
Good night.